Now let's set the record straight. There's no argument over the choice between peace and war, but there's only one guaranteed way you can have peace, and you can have it in the next second. Surrender. Admittedly, there's a risk in any course we follow other than this, but every lesson of history tells us that the greater risk lies in appeasement, and this is the specter our well-meaning liberal friends refuse to face, that their policy of accommodation is appeasement. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's no choice to only between fight and fight. Mama, I love you. If we continue to accommodate, continue to back and retreat, eventually we have to face the final demand, the ultimatum. And what then? When Nikita Khrushchev has told his people, he knows what our answer will be. Oh, this alpha, do you have he has told them entrances that we are retreating Poland, under the pressure of the Cold War, and someday, when the time comes to deliver the final ultimatum, our surrender will be voluntary. Four or five, that is around the contact uh, and we can ship it in five zeros or the economic. He believes this because from our side he's heard voices. Over copies, my AR is currently engaging. He buys PTRs and spotted at 0 19. You know, there's one that I'm not sure if it's actually. Oh, but it just moves. He's coming. Fucking 18. Get off my fucking back, please. You and I know and do not believe that honor got it. Rocket. If nothing in life is worth dying for, when did this begin? Just in the face of this enemy? Or should Moses have told the children of Israel to live in slavery under the Pharaohs? Should Christ have refused the cross? Should the patriots have conquered Egypt have thrown down their guns and refused to fire the shot around the world? The martyrs of history were not fools. And our honored dead gave their lives to stop the advance of the Nazis who didn't die in vain. Where then is the As in the conversion? That is it. You and I. Have the courage to say to our enemies, what do I there, is there, is the the there is a point beyond which they must not advance. Winston Churchill said the destiny of man is not measured by material computations. When great forces are on the move in the world, we learn we're spirits, not animals. And he said there's something going on in time and space and beyond time and space, which, whether we like it or not, spells you. you How are you not dying? What the death. fuck? We'll preserve. For our children, this the last best hope of man on earth, or we'll sentence them to take the last step Connor, in the thousand I need you years of darkness.